Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. Before you get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime I upload new videos. So let's jump straight into Canva. Okay, so here we are in Canva and since we have some few days more to Valentine, I just want to Valentine you. Okay, so let's just get started. I know we are going to recreate this. Okay, so I come into custom dimension and you already know what I always go for 1080 by 1350. Okay, so it should open beautifully and um, you know, if your internet is fast like how mine is today then it shouldn't take you any long so i'm going into my uploads first okay because i have um background image i use but you can just change your color to red okay so you can just use um a sexy red color something like this you know so the color code is d80000 okay and um you know i'm coming up with um i'm coming up with a website that you know would help you get almost would help you get something okay and um with all of these elements would be added i am on there but aside the element more things will also be added there okay so um once it's ready you'll be able to assess all of um these special elements i get to use in canva so you have access to all of these um special elements and stuff like that okay so this is the background i want to use so i just drag it into my um into my okay why is it not adding okay so replace background okay i think it's loading okay so um the first thing i am going to do also is to add my petals okay so i have this petals over here and with this you can search for petals you know in google and um, just make sure whichever petals you're using doesn't have a background okay so um all i'm also going to do is to go into my element and um you can search for hearts okay but there was this one i used earlier that's why it's at the recently used and i just changed the color to white okay so once i change the color to white i just make it bigger and um i center it to center and middle okay so coming back to my all i'm going to do is to frame and have these individuals um you know these individual petals so i have this here and i can duplicate okay and i would bring it to the next petal i want to have so let's say i wanted to have this this is what i'm going to do okay then i would duplicate again and du uh, double click first okay then i can okay so you can see what i'm trying to do okay so maybe bring it down a little bit and i can duplicate again so this time around um i'll see if i can get the bigger one okay initially when i was doing it it was very difficult to get the bigger one alone because you can see there's this one that keeps showing up over here but you know we can still do something about it so we have these four petals here and what we are going to do is to arrange them beautifully sorry you know if you have your phone and um, it's a google phone it gets to misbehave i see if i never mentioned anything but google is saying i i call this here name and, you know this can be very annoying okay so um all i'm going to do now is to arrange these petals just around um the heart okay so i will speed up the process so that i don't waste much of your time
okay so as you can see i have been able to arrange these petals beautifully on my design okay so the next thing i am going to do is to um have some of these petals you know scattered here okay just on my design so and also you can just rotate them and so that just make them look random as if um the wind blew <laughs> you know <laughs> then i'll go and add a heart again okay so add the heart what i'm going to do is i'll change the color to white okay and i make it small and i duplicate duplicate okay duplicate 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 and um maybe duplicate here and here and here and maybe i can be rota rotating it randomly you know because yeah so just be doing it um randomly and stuff just to make it look very interesting okay i think it's too uh crowded at the top over here yeah so now this is what we have i'll move it to the top a little bit and i'll just add a happy valentine's day text okay so all i am going to do is to um go into my text okay and i'll select add a heading and it should appear here and i would say happy okay and i move it to the top and um i would say valentine's okay and i would say day okay so happy day so d a y so what we are going to do here is to go into our font and change this to the montserrat okay and change this to montserrat and i'll change this to the playlist script okay that's what i'm going to use so i'll reduce uh my montserrat to 30 okay and this also to 30 and I'll increase this a little bit. Okay, so another thing is I'll change the color to red because we want it to look romantic. Nice one. And uh, maybe I'll just increase the size since it's looking too small. So I'll just say 40 and, uh, and make this one also 40. Okay, then arrange it beautifully okay so this is what we have at the moment but before i finish up let me just tidy everything up yeah so this is what we have at the moment and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did kindly um hit on the like button the subscribe button the bell and anything you can hit down there and i would also want to know your thoughts um about this tutorial okay and maybe if you also want to wish me a happy valentine's day you can also drop it in the comments section okay and um yeah maybe how you also enjoyed your valentine's day i like to know how she uh, made the loved one feel special so the name is benjamin and i would definitely and see you in my next